All right, so on a swing axle, getting the side covers off and the diff out, there's a few different ways to tackle it. You can, if you have the factory tool, I just have one plate installed inside here. I can crank this down and you can see how the, the, the side cover is coming off. So that's one way to do it. If you don't have the factory tool, you can use an old flange and weld something in there and then just have a bolt drive to a circular plate. Um, so if you don't want to do that, the other thing you can do is <clears throat> flip it over. And this one still has the side gear in place. If the side gear wasn't there, you could put a piece of wood here and use the wood to drive the diff and the side cover out at the exact same time. Now, the only thing I do recommend to think about when you're doing these swing axle boxes is a car box. The ring is going to be on the clutch side. If you had gear reduction boxes or as a mid-engine, the ring is going to be flipped over here on the other side. Um, personally, if I, I've done the wood drive out method a lot, when I do that, I want to drive out the side cover that's on the ring gear side. Just because if you do it opposite, it's going to hit the pinion head and you're really not going to start driving it out. Um, so either way you do it, like the factory tool, a homemade version of the factory tool, or just simply using a piece of wood against the side gear. I mean, some people don't like the sounds of that, but I mean, if you're doing wheelies in the car, the wood's going to do less problems than your wheelies. Um, <clears throat> just think ahead of what you're going to take out and how it needs to go. Um, but factory tool or substitute for that. I would start on the ring side, the wood, or the you're gonna push it out from the other side. Uh, start with the non-ring side. Um, now you get the diff and the side cover out. You can put a couple of pry bars between the ring gear or the back side of the diff and the side cover and get the side cover off really easy. Um, or take it to the press and press it out with some wood blocks underneath the side cover. There's a lot of ways to do that. And then when you get that last side cover that's just on the side of the box all by itself, just put a two by four against it on the inside, work it around, tap it out, and it'll come off pretty easy. Um, so just to kind of demonstrate like a factory tool or a substitute for it, I can just, take that off like that. You can see this box is pretty nasty on the inside. Um, then again with the factory tool I can put it on the other side and if the side cover is bolted on that means I'm going to push the diff out. Um, so that's what I'll do next. And so um, swing axles I think take a little bit more. Just think ahead what you're doing, what's going to happen um, so you can get it all out right. Um, Again, you can make your own version of the factory tool just using a flange. Um, put a bolt there and just put a wrench on that bolt head. And you just need something circular that drops into here. Um, a lot of different options um, and stuff. So, I mean, it could even be just a big couple of big washers stacked on to each other that, you know, the Maybe there's a nut on the bottom end of the bolt that pushes against the washers. You know, it's not tons of force to get this in and out and stuff. So, um, a lot of options, but the swing axle discs, in my opinion, you do need to think ahead of like the order of operations and um, just don't be afraid. It, it's going to take some, it's not hard work, but it can be time consuming when you start checking your backlash and all that stuff. Um, and I'll go over some tricks later to help that go faster as well. But this is kind of getting the side covers off and the diff out. I'll keep making videos of how to break it down. Just little videos. Um, it's kind of help you along the way.